you were saying um, at the weekend that the players or training has improved a lot over the last sort of week to ten days. Can you describe what the difference has been for you? They are more focused. All of them. What what does more focus? Their like? exercises the when we talk and sometimes you see faces and this track and whatever. Everyone is more focused. This is my feeling. Do you know why they weren't as focused before? No. Have you not got to the bottom of <laughs> we probably not is it too easy to say it was sort of a hangover from the World Cup? No, maybe it's my fault. I should be more active, maybe I should be more present, so I, I don't know. So but this is my feeling that this is going to remain until the end of the of the season, I don't know. What I have felt in the last yeah, it's it's good. I said to them, it's enough. With well, that is enough. But I said I said many times, this is no guarantee to have success, but without that it's impossible. So, so it gives you significantly more confidence than you might have had two weeks ago. Of course, as a manager, when you see everybody, you know, focus or commitment with uh, we say when we talk when we got to do. Of course, that doesn't guarantee. Don't guarantee never ever the success. So it's already written. So that was the feeling. As managers get old, that uh, we try to do our best, but. What's going to happen tomorrow is already written. Uh, for the destiny, for I don't know, many things happen in life. It's like that. So, uh, so yeah. But I'm, I'm comfortable with what I'm watching. Yeah. Hi Pep. Um, Arsenal have dropped points in the last two games. Does that make them actually more dangerous heading into this match tomorrow? Will be the same dangers. Uh, of course, the team like uh, is not used to drop points. When every time drop, the next game is we have something special. Of course, but would have been would have been the same. But watching the two games, like yesterday, I watched. I don't have the feeling that they drop the way they're playing. And uh, I think Arsenal reach the level that means when you are a good team, is that the, the open always adapt to you who you are. When you arrive in that level, is because you are a good team. And this has happened. So you can win or lose, but when you impose your game and the open always adapt, um, what you are doing, and you don't change the way you play, and they adapt, adjust many things during the game, is because you are reach a level that you need to be champion. And I had the feeling that Arsenal this season got it. And do you still see, I mean, I think after a couple of games of the season, you said that there was seven, eight teams in the title race. Do you view this title race as yourself and Arsenal or do you still think that the likes of Manchester United, Newcastle are still in this title race? Yeah, there. there's a lot of points. When I said a lot of points to play, not just I'm talking about us. So, yeah, I think the Premier League when it's tied, except you with the margin for a long, 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 many, many, many points that can happen in the next week, so we don't know. So, always I had the feeling Especially now, so the European competition, Champions League, and and in Europa League and FA Cups will be already is around the corners next this week, next week. So, so that's why I had the feeling late ten games we're going to decide for the win the titles. In that moment, is try to be there and make the last effort to try to achieve it. Pep, just going back to what you were saying to Jack about the focus, how, how do you maintain that within the squad? Is it down to you or is it just the players themselves? Have they got to remain focused for the rest of the season? Uh, mainly, mainly the players are there. I cannot be all the time. But one of them, my job is not just 4 for 2 or 4 three, 3 or 5 at the back or, or this kind of stuff. It's being there when I see something is not, I don't like it or something is not going wrong for many reasons because the players have personal issues, the person, the players have good moments and bad moments like I have and when I am giving it down I have my staff or my friends or whatever that lift me up you know to come okay, on let's go again so this is my job and sometimes when maybe they don't like it I understand so I have to do it and and when they understand okay after what happened so the openings are behind this door he is, we are not opponents, not even enemies. So we are people that we try to do our best for the benefit for ourselves, for the club, individually, collectively. And in previous seasons, when you've won the title, you've had long unbeaten runs, long winning runs. 
how do you kind of get that mentality where you can embark on another one of those runs now? Is it again? Is it down to, to players? I would say the mentality is there. So we are second on the table in the FA Cup. We are there, Champions League. We qualify again. So we didn't draw much. I had the feeling. The difference is because we have a team. I make 50 points in in the first leg. So when that happens, it just heads off and try to learn and improve yourself to try if you can catch up. But after done what we have done, I don't have the feeling that it was it's a mess. Everything we are close in our in bad moments. In moments we are we are doing really really well. So. But I understand the standards are so high when you compare with the past and sometimes my decisions are not good. I always have reflect on myself when something is not going well. So I accept it. It's, it's okay. So we are just in February. February? Yeah, just in February. A lot of games are still to play. So this is my feeling. Uh, can I just ask you briefly about Alex uh, Zinchenko? Obviously... Everyone knows what's going on in, in Ukraine, but it, you know, it's remarkable his, his form is kept so high, first for City, now for Arsenal. But what do you make of him as a, as a player, but also as a person? I think everybody's in love here uh, with him. No, honestly, he's an a important figure, in the, was an important figure in our, in our club. What I like the most, Alex, is the fact that the first years we want to maybe move them from here because we we thought that uh, he's not going to play much and I said no 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 I'm going to fight for my position I said Alex it's difficult to have many players in your position number 10 or I said no 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 I'm going to play here and and trained really well never my bad face when playing as a sparring always a good behavior and normally when you don't play you don't say you're going to play I have to make a sparring for my mates ah, I don't want to do it it was completely the opposite Stay in the, in the gym working an extra time. And for the circumstances in life, a lot of injuries in one position. We decide for the way they play that the fullback, one of them, or sometimes center defender can play an extra time. And, and he took the opportunity like he last chance in the world. And that mind is a good form of play and a good mindset in that. And at the end, what happened? Uh, my reason, and Arsenal, in that case, I think Mikel knows him very well because he works with him, we work together, and, and he believes he needs this piece, you know, to try to make the, our process, especially build up and many things, a little bit better. Fun. And uh, some Valentine's Day. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm happy for, uh, you know, for him, and yeah, and it's going well, and that's all. Hi, Pat. Um, you've obviously won everything in club football as a manager, um, but does a game like tomorrow night still give you a thrill? You know, it's a very important game. You still get excited, really excited about going there and trying to beat them. Yeah, definitely. Definitely it is. So we know how the environment will be. I think so. After what happened in recent last, recent last weeks and and the quality of the opponent, the tough is going to do, the pace, the... the, the yeah. They control many, many aspects, really one. I said before the FA Cup, it was not a surprise what I felt on the touchline. We have to try to adjust something. We didn't do well, and uh, and yeah, expecting how we'll see. Will that maybe be part of your message to your players? Just go out there and you know enjoy this massive game and beat them 10-0? I enjoy it, I don't know if it's the right word. We have to be, we have to be so aggressive and handle the rhythm and the, the pressure for all departments, they are going to create to put pressures on us through the fans, through the referees, through the, the, the players, and they have to be so active in many, many things. Uh, hi, Pat. Uh, who has the greater, <coughs> excuse me, who has a greater motivation, a team who have won the title and want to win it again, or a team that are yet to win one? The biggest motivation, I don't want to be dropped the Premier League just because we are not who we are. If uh, they beat us because they are better, it's a sport. I would be the first to congratulate them. I always have done in my career, in our career, so, but not because we are not there. So you wanted, okay, fight to, 
you know, take it from our hands and still is in our hands. We defend until the last day the, this title. So this is what I would like to to do, to fight, you know, who we are at maximum to, to try to retain the title. If it not happen, it's because the other one was better. You know, and have accepted, improved it, not because we didn't do or give up or we didn't do our best. This is when I fight every day with my players to let them feel what you have to be as a team. Hi, Pep. You've obviously been here as a manager longer than any other club you've been at. When you talk about that focus in training and day to day, have you found it a challenge this year to maintain that focus, given that you've obviously been here a lot, many more years than you've been either at Barcelona? No, it happened. It happened quite similar to the previous season where we won or make back to back. I remember the back to back. The third, the next season was the worst. We were not. But uh, this type of level, you have to do maximum in every detail and all the time. So, no, no, it's, it's impossible after after win the two last two Premier Leagues every day, be perfect and everyone. Sometimes it happens natural. It's just, okay, uh, I have to be there to let them notice that I have to get back, you know? Otherwise, the opponents room force and get it better. They have the big dream, you know, to win something that a long, long time ago didn't happen and we cannot compete with that. Because with that, they, they didn't recently. I'm not saying that Arsenal don't have an incredible history, please. Huh? Of course, it's bigger than us in, in terms of titles. It's not about that. It's just a long time they didn't do it and they have something special that we don't have. It. We compete with that because we, we won it recently. But there are another tricks, another ways to to find the fire inside on ourselves as a team individually to say, OK, still we can we can do it. If, if we didn't have still there, we will not be second. We'll be far, far, far away. And still we are there in the good moments of a moment. Still we are, we are not a lot, a lot of points of distance. Because at the end, OK, tomorrow we have an important game. We're coming back in three days. We have to, to, to travel to Nottingham to play against Forest. And, and will be the same points like uh, Arsenal, so nothing is going to change much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.